Welcome back to Booze and the Rocks. My uh, name is Welcome back to the Aaron Show. My name is Aaron, obviously, and we're going to use these to make the paralyzer. But first, this. Before we get started, this request comes to us from Steve, a former member of the Canadian Forces. Now, the paralyzer was invented in the 1980s by some friends in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. And like all good drinks, this came about because they were trying to make white Russians. Now, of course, I'll put my video up here. Now, once they started running out of ingredients, they decided to improvise in truly Canadian fashion. And because in Canada, we're famous for drinking anything alcoholic, especially beer, but there's no beer here, and I'm very sad. There, there. You'll make it there. All right, let's lift my spirits, and let's get into this. Aaron, we're gonna make a paralyzer cocktail. Okay, and good, for this, I want the spotlight. Okay. <laughs> I'll just stand back here and throw my voice at the camera. All right, but you need a Collins glass. So what I need you to do is I need you to fill that with ice, please. Oh. Come on, come on. Just don't rush me. Okay, perfect. So what you need, is one ounce of tequila. And here you're using Tito's handmade vodka. Now one ounce is equivalent to 30 milliliters. Ah, my vodka, just a sec, move, move. Oh, oh. okay, sorry, let me. Uh. That didn't happen. Okay, you need, come on. Why are you rushing me? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> you need one ounce or 30 mils of the Kahlua, which is a coffee liqueur. Now, <laughs> now one of the things, the good things about this is these are going to layer themselves. So what I want you to do is I want you to pour it on the ice from this side, please. Or they're supposed to layer themselves. Well, it probably would have if it wasn't me doing it. All right, we're gonna you're gonna you're gonna layer the, layer the next one though. That's fine. Yep. What are you? <laughs> have I taught you no manners? You've taught me lots of manners. You're just not using them in this video. Jesus. All right. So now we know who the problem child is in this family. Okay. So we need. <laughs> oh. It's not me. You're a man child. Yes, I am. So we need an ounce and a half of the uh, the cream. So what we're going to do is, uh, you could use milk. I'm using the cream because I like the consistency a little bit. That's an ounce, that's two ounces. What's it? I, I don't know these things. There. Okay, now what you want to do here, I'm gonna give you the spoon. Just, you just want to gently put it against the edge of the glass so that this is going to layer because we really don't want it to mix. And you're going to get this absolutely, okay, we can pour it a little faster. You're going to get this nice, nice layered look. Perfect. But we're not done. You're going to need that spoon again. We have, the one thing that's not on there is we need a little bit of cola. Now you can use whatever cola of your choice you want. And in this case, we're using Coke because I don't like Pepsi. My preference is there anyways, but you can use whatever type of cola most suits your need. And you're gonna need about an ounce and a half, so you wanna put about the same amount. So you're going to layer this yet again with the Coke, okay? Um, I don't know how fizz works with that. Don't worry, just keep going, just keep going. You'll, you'll be good, I'll tell you when to stop. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Stop. Okay. And we're done with this spoon? We're done with this. Actually, no, we're not done with the spoon. Because we're going to give you one ounce of tequila, which is 30 ounces. Now, this is a uh, silver tequila. One ounce. Thanks. Okay, and we're going to put it directly on top. But I'll get you to layer it again because we just don't want to break the layers. Just because we want to go for the pretty factor. You're gonna need one of these. Oh, 
All right. I think I may have broken the layer there. Ah, darn it. There you go. We need one maraschino cherry. Oh, I smell like... Well, you're the one going out later, so... So we need one, and you want to just sort of place it on top. We probably... And if you look here while she's trying to get that, you've got a really nice set of layers here between the uh, Kahlua and vodka. You can see the cream you can in the cola, and you can see the vodka. Just put it right there on that piece of ice. Yeah, beautiful. Just put it right there. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. This is a Paralyzer Canadian style. Okay? Now you're going to... Oh, you and your hands. Don't even try that. Straw. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's a bendy straw because bendy straws are awesome. This is not a bendy straw. Well, it doesn't bend. It's already bent. It's stainless steel. Yeah. Yeah, I knew that. Okay. To have a small sip. So what you're going to do is you're going to get That's going to be a little bit vodka and and I uh, think I like that. Now, really what good. I want you to do is I want you to give give it a stir, stir it a couple times. Get rid of your pretty layers. Yeah, my pretty layers are gone. Now try now try a sip. That's really good. What do you taste? I'm not sure. It tastes coke. And vodka. Coke and vodka. Let me let me let me try this. I'm not feeling strawed. Well, you know what? That's really good. I get a little bit of. I definitely get the coffee flavors. I get a little bit of the cream. I definitely get the vodka. The tequila is nicely integrated. Uh, the cream makes it nice and smooth. It gives you a nice mouth feel. That's pretty good. Could you could you see yourself drinking a few of those? I would drink that. Yeah. You would? And that's a lot coming from me. So good, but this one's not your... Not what? <laughs> my drink. It's my drink. Anyways, thank you for tuning into this episode. What? Hello. If this is your first time... Oh, you know what I, I gotta tell you first? I'm gonna put the method and the ingredients in the description down below on how to make this. If this is your first time to my channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification button. That way, every time we put up a new video, you'll be notified. And remember, this is the Aaron Show again. Aaron. And we'll see you next time. Now, the Paralyzer was invented in the 1980s by some friends in Winnipeg. In Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Yeah. And like all good things... That <laughs> <laughs> See? It's not that easy, is it?